I uh, announced um, Ingenia is now uh, conditionally contracted to acquire five additional uh, lifestyle communities. Um, four of those are existing parks offering immediate accretion and the fifth asset is a DA approved site just north of Coffs Harbour on the New South Wales mid north coast. Um, there's five reasons why we find this, um, you know, these transactions very compelling. Firstly, it increases the size of our lifestyle business. Know, our manufactured home communities by around 20%. It adds uh, 740 income producing sites or around 15% to our existing business. Um, it adds 313 homes to our development pipeline and gives us the confidence to target upwards of 350 settlements from 2009 onwards at expanding development margins. Um, Ingenia is already the largest owner and operator of lifestyle communities in Sydney. And the two uh, trophy assets that we're acquiring in Brisbane now mean that we're one of the largest owners and operators of lifestyle communities in the Brisbane market. And I'll talk more on those assets in a moment. Um, and lastly, it sees our portfolio weighting now with a 93% bias towards key metro and, and uh, coastal locations. Um, in terms of transaction highlights, um, so you can see um, the five transactions are accretive to 2018 earnings, just modest accretion in 18 and then strongly accretive in 19 and thereafter. Um, significantly increases our portfolio of income yielding assets and development assets um, and uh, leverages our existing, um, you know, what we think is a, a quality operating and development platform. In terms of the specific acquisitions, I'll just touch forward to um, uh, so firstly, why we've targeted the Brisbane lifestyle community market. I'm, I'm sure as everyone up in Brisbane would know, um, Brisbane's got a very large and growing population. Median house price in Brisbane is $655,000, which means that a lot of um, equity that seniors have, um, around 82% uh, of seniors over the age of 75 own their home outright. So in relative terms, they're uh, asset rich but cash flow poor. Um, and the um, the population, the um, amount of seniors that are going to, um, or the, the growth in seniors, the people over the age of 55 in Brisbane is forecast to grow by 69% over the next 20 years. So between 2016 and 2036, there'll be a 69% growth in the number of seniors in Brisbane over the age of 55. So some very compelling demographics. In Brisbane, there's 40 lifestyle communities. Um, over 164 traditional DMF villages. Those 40 lifestyle villages are very um, tightly held. If you take out what we own, Gateway and a few other private operators, uh, there's very few um, uh, other opportunities left. And um, the, uh, our own experience with the two lifestyle communities we own in Logan at the moment has been um, you know, very, uh, very attractive. So we're going to end up with a portfolio in Brisbane with nearly 600 development sites and uh, over 750 existing permanent sites, so very attractive for us. Um, the first acquisition in Brisbane, a uh, $25 million acquisition, uh, ingoing yield of over 7%, uh, located out towards the uh, Inala part of uh, Brisbane. Um, we believe that by um, there hasn't been a rent increase in this park for over 12 months. Uh, there's vacant land there for around 30 new homes and we'll be able to generate over the next three years an unlevered IRR of over 13%. And that's principally through pushing up rents and building out the vacant land that's currently generating uh, no income. Uh, the second acquisition in Brisbane, again, is a $25 million deal. It's located adjacent to the second largest shopping centre uh, in Brisbane, about 15 kilometres south of the Brisbane CBD on the uh, motorway between Brisbane uh, and the Gold Coast. Uh, what's unique about this park is that nearly every property in the park um, is owned by the vendor. So when Ingenia moves to ownership, We'll not only own all the land, but we'll own all of the homes there. And we give, that gives us the optionality to either sell down the homes and, and continue collecting the rent or potentially to push through rent increases. Uh, two months ago, we lodged a DA with Brisbane City Council for an extra 49 homes. Um, and uh, we would expect that those 49 homes will be put in in quick succession. Um, the, the highest and best use of this site longer term could be potentially a conversion into you no know, medium density or high rise residential apartments. Uh, Ingenia certainly wouldn't undertake that development ourselves, but we would look to procure the DA and then on sell that development site.
Uh, the third acquisition is uh, on the Queensland Capricorn Coast, uh, where the Capricorn Coast is. You know, major town um, or towns would be uh, Rockhampton, uh, Yapoon. This is an existing uh, mixed-use park, so uh, a blend of existing permanence and tourism. And the Livingston Council recently, uh, um, on the vacant land, uh, approved another uh, 74 DA-approved sites. 50% of those are for permanence, 50% for tourism. And once we acquire the park, we'll look to uh, engage with council and convert that entire DA across to um, to permanent homes. So an attractive beachfront uh, tourism and uh, permanent park. Uh, Ingenia is obviously very bullish on the New South Wales mid-north coast, so centred around the two key towns there of Port Macquarie and Coffs Harbour. Um, some of our best performing rental villages um, at Coffs Harbour being Tulumi Gardens and, and Port Macquarie being Oxley Gardens. Two of our largest and best performing uh, mixed-use parks, uh, White Albatross and Southwest Rocks. And at Ingenia Southwest Rocks, we're now selling between four and five new permanent homes per month. Um, so we've uh, contracted to acquire two parks in the mid-north coast. Uh, firstly, uh, Confidential Park uh, D, which is a beachfront tourism park, um, $13.5 million uh, purchase price, a pretty tight ingoing yield of just over 6.5%, but that's really reflective that the vendors in the last 12 months have spent around $2 million upgrading the park. So the yield we're paying is, is really, or the price we're paying is reflective of where we expect the business to be you know, trading in the next uh, two years. Um, no opportunity to put in permanence, but um, the licence there enables us to swap out the lower yielding caravan and camping sites and put in additional high yielding tourism cabins. And then lastly, um, Confidential Park E uh, is a DA approved development site just north of Coffs Harbour, 196 new homes. Uh, we're paying just over $40,000 per develop DA approved development site. Uh, we'd be expecting to sell those homes for upwards of $400,000. Um, and an unlevered IRR of uh, well in excess of 20%. And this park's really important because um, whilst we expect that we'll settle 20 homes from this park in, in FY18, it really enables us to accelerate our development up to over 350 settlements in FY19 uh, and beyond. Um, just in terms of uh, the business is currently tracking very well, um, these uh, five acquisitions will now change our weighting where um, will be 93% weighted towards capital and, um, and key coastal markets, you know, where Australian seniors want to um, retire. Um, in terms of a development and sales update, uh, we're currently tracking well towards 190 settlements this year at a development margin in excess of $100,000. Next year, we're giving guidance to over 260 settlements, again, at an expanded margin. And in 19, we, we would expect to be achieving over 350 settlements, which would make us the largest developer of land lease communities um, in Australia. Just very quickly, um, business update. Our Garden Villages business is performing very well and um, is now trading at near record occupancy. Um, our tourism business is tracking very well. Uh, back in February, we acquired the largest tourism park in Australia up in Cairns, Cairns Coconut. That's uh, meeting uh, our uh, expectations, and we've also put in four new cabins ahead of the peak uh, winter period. Uh, two weeks ago, we procured a new DA for 114 new homes, so that part of our business, procuring those DAs, adding value to our parks, is going very well, and we're trialling a few initiatives across the portfolio. Um, and then lastly, um, in terms of the outlook, um, over the next 12 months, it's very likely that we're now going to step back from acquisitions and really focus on accelerating the build out of our development pipeline and uh, extracting the organic growth opportunities that exist within the, um, in the portfolio, pushing hard on development. Uh, Non-core asset sales will be a, a key part of our business. So we're looking to divest uh, three non-core regional lifestyle communities, our three remaining DMF assets. We've got a development site in Western Sydney and quite possibly a couple of our rental villages in, in Western New South Wales. Um, and lastly, we're retaining our EBIT guidance for uh, FY17 of $30 million.